going on, my people? It is your UK chocolate brother, Dr. Blake, the darkest man around. And I'll be talking about One Piece, Burning Blood. So guys, get your fried chicken, get your Kool-Aid, and sit them chicks down. Because you're about to see my top five characters I would like to see in One Piece, Burning Blood. And yeah, I'm going to leave out the Straw Hats because pretty much they're going to be confirmed on the game. But anyway, let me get on with this top five. But number five is the one and is the only Jinbei. Jinbei plays a big important part to Luffy's life and to Luffy's character development and to Luffy just developing as a character and the reason why I'm saying this is when Luffy was down in the dust and he was upset he was pretty much crying his eyes out at the death of Ace Jinbei was the one who pretty much had to beat the sense into him because Luffy started panicking he started crying he started trying to beat up everyone started breaking things started being violent and Jinbei had to slap some sense into them cheeks bruh he had to he had to uh, nah, nah, you know the African treatment <laughs> <laughs> you know what them black parents do, they don't take no nonsense and Jinbei was just like but 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 to Luffy bruh and he was in that moment when he gave Luffy blood when Luffy was pretty much about to die and he saved him from getting hurt by Aikainu and yeah Jinbei is a character I feel that should be on the game, he's a very very skilled fishman in terms of his fighting and yeah he has really cool moves and yeah I would like Jinbei to be on the game. At number 4 this guy may be OP if they do him wrong, so Spike, please. If you are putting this guy on the game, please do not make him broken and OP. And you guys must have thought about this guy. You guys must have been, oh, I welcome this guy in the game. And I'm talking about the one and the only Kizaru. Kizaru has a OP ass ability, bro. This guy is a low gear type that pretty much can turn himself into light and move at the speed of light. So, Spike. If you're listening to this video, you better make sure Kizaru is not OP because I'm going to be coming for your cheeks and people abuse the crap out of Kizaru if he's on this game. But I'm not going to lie, he has a beast ability and the fact that he can use his light ability and turn it into a sword is pretty cool and he's pretty badass. So I would like Kizaru to be on the game. And number three, this guy, he dominated the war arc. This guy completely dominated the war arc like it was his show it was his stage pretty much if it wasn't for this guy luffy would have got luffy would have had no chance of getting to ace if it wasn't for this guy i'm talking about whitebeard whitebeard was an absolute animal in the war arc he was an absolute animal in marine 4 he was a beast like that guy took bullets cannons stabs everything he took everything this guy had two holes in his chest and Whitebeard is a character I feel that should be in the game. He played an important part in One Piece in terms of that Marine 4 arc and he will be a cool character to use. And come on, man. He's Devil Fruit. is badass. The ability to make earthquakes. Come on. That Devil Fruit is badass. And he can pretty much crack air and bend air because of his ability to create earthquakes. Yeah, I would welcome Whitebeard on the game because this guy is such a brute, man. This guy whips cheeks left, right and center. Pretty much this guy died standing up. He had all the damage on his front. Because he never ran away, he never shied away from like when things were looking bad. He had no damage done to his back. His back was pretty much not touched, not touched at all. His back was pretty much fine. It was the front side that got all messed up. Two ho he had like two holes in his chest because of Akainu. But I'm not going to lie, I didn't like it when it was beating Akainu's ass, bro. Because Akainu made me angry for reasons that I cannot say. If you guys have not caught up, you guys will find out why I dislike Akainu. And if you guys are caught up... You guys know why I just like Akainu. But anyways, on to number two. And the number two is the guy that trained Luffy in the two-year time skip. He helped him understand hockey. He helped him develop hockey. He helped him control his conqueror's hockey. And I'm talking about the one and the only Rayleigh. Rayleigh played a big important part to Luffy getting stronger within the two years of training. Rayleigh trained him, helped him control hockey, helped him be able to come up with new moves. Helped him become a stronger person and more wiser person. Rayleigh played a big important part to Luffy and he did help Luffy kind of, almost kind of get away. But, um, what's his name? Bartholomew Kumar did get them cheeks and, and slap him onto the other side of the world. <laughs> but anyway, Rayleigh will be a very important part for this game because if it wasn't for Rayleigh, Luffy would have never got that strong. And he was looking after Luffy. He was pretty much, he pretty much showed Luffy the light. He was, he was the senpai. But Luffy, bruh, he pretty much showed Luffy the light. 
And yeah, he has a beast ability. Like when we saw him in that auction room, hit Conqueror's Hockey, take out pretty much everyone in that auction. That was pretty badass. And yeah, Ray Lee, the second to Goldie Roger, I would like him to be on the game. Okay, on to number one. This guy, we've never really seen him do anything amazing, but I like this guy. And he was the first person we met at the beginning of One Piece, whether you're reading the manga or watching the anime. He was the first person that we met. And I'm talking about Kobe. And I know some people might like Blick, like Kobe, bruh, Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. I like Kobe, and I know for a fact Kobe will get strong. And since Kobe hasn't done anything amazing canonly, and when I mean canonly, he's done some stuff in the movies. Like this guy was really strong in the movie. He was taking on people like Zoro in the movies. I think it was, either, it was either, yeah, it was the movies. And I feel like they could use that move set and make it into uh, his move set on Burning Blood, and that would be pretty cool because. In like the movie, he would be a he was able to go up toe to toe against Luffy and Zoro, and that would be pretty cool if they were able to implement that for Kobe because Kobe is a cool character. I know he would get strong. I feel like he would be like the relationship between Kobe and Luffy would be like the relationship between um Garp and Goldie Roger. Do you know how like they were on opposite sides, but they were cool. They were pretty much had each other's back. I feel like I feel like that would be the same situation with Kobe and Luffy. And yeah guys, this is my top 5 characters I would like to see and characters that I would also like to see that did not get the shine on this are people like Aokiju who has the ability to freeze stuff like his ability, he's pretty much the Frozone I'm just gonna go out and say it He is pretty much the Frozone of One Piece And yeah, people like Garp as well, Garp was pretty strong He was able to throw cannons faster than the cannons can do it And he's also Luffy's granddad. He's all Yeah, he's also Luffy's granddad. And yeah, people like, um, who else am I forgetting? Burgo. Burgo was a cool guy. And you got people like Buggy. People that are, we are going to expect to be on this game. And yeah, leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What you think about my wish list. Tell me your top five favorite characters that you would like to see in One Piece Burning Blood. Leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. Because this has been your UK chocolate brother, Dr. Blake, the darkest man around. And it is time. For me to put down that fried chicken and a kool-aid and wrap up this video so please comment and subscribe i know i say this all the time but at the end of the day i'm just saying please leave like really enjoy this video and yeah this uk chocolate barber will catch you in the next one bye guys